hi guys welcome back to my channel for yet another video today i am gonna show you guys my everyday makeup routine and my like daily skincare i guess obviously i am no beauty guru but i feel like sometimes i honestly just like to see like what other people do every day for their makeup it gives me ideas so i figured i'd give you guys some ideas i asked you guys like what videos you wanted to see or what i should film because i'm kind of struggling i feel like it's not even that i struggle with ideas i just get like too hard on myself i guess and then i won't film because i'm just like nobody wants to watch that but I'm trying to like get out of my own head and film anyway. When I asked you guys on Instagram what videos you wanted to see, I saw a few people say to do like a makeup video. I haven't done one in a while. They're fun to do. I like acting like a beauty guru even though I'm not. I have been sticking with like the same makeup for like the last few months. I feel like I change like little things at a time and then eventually the whole routine is different. But it's pretty simple. I literally just always do the same thing with like the exception of adding like eyeliner if I'm going somewhere fancy. The first step is skincare. I feel like that's the most important part of a makeup routine in general just because you need to have like a perfect base to put on the makeup. So let's go do that. As you can see, my skin is definitely far from perfect. It's like really dry around here, breaking out, you know. So yeah, before I like get into anything with makeup, I have to exfoliate and like wash my face and put a shit ton of moisturizer on because if I don't, my makeup looks cakey, my skin's peeling off, and I just look a mess. So let's get into it. I've been using this, the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser because it has like an exfoliant in it too. Before I wash my face, I have to like put a headband on because one of my pet peeves is getting water in my hair when it's like already done <laughs> so i usually do that please ignore my pale armpits i put on pink skin and it always like comes off my armpits first so they're pale white so i just clip my hair up like that looking real freaking cute i also always grab a clean washcloth i literally have an entire drawer of these because i don't like using like towels that could be dirty on my face so i have a drawer strictly for like face <laughs> Top for face washcloths. What my face? All right. Once that's all done with, I go ahead, take some pure hyaluronic acid, and press that into my face. Deb told me that she read somewhere or heard something that like if you smack your face like this. It's supposed to be good for your skin. So yeah, sometimes I, you know, smack myself around a little bit. Normally I use the CeraVe moisturizer. It's really thick at night and I mix it with a little bit of the Ordinary Squalene. It's a very moisturizing oil. But today I'm just going to go with some good old Cetaphil because for makeup, when I put makeup on, I need something that's like thin and kind of like more oily, I guess you could say. It helps my makeup grow on easier. Go ahead and put a good amount of that on because my skin is literally the most dry thing on the literal planet. And that is pretty much it for my morning skincare or daytime skincare. I keep it really simple because you don't want to destroy the barrier. That's another thing I learned. I also just put on some of the Laneige lip mask. I use this as like an everyday chapstick. This stuff is the most amazing thing. You can get it at Sephora and they have like all these flavors and this one is the vanilla one and it just smells like icing. That is it for my skincare. <laughs> I really look crazy. It's time to get into makeup. So first things first, I'm gonna use primer. This is from my grandma's makeup line. It's just like a pore perfecting primer. I got some pores. I'm not gonna lie, my skin is very far from flawless or perfect. Some days are better than others. Lately, it's been horrible. <laughs> I'm like so hard on myself about my skin. It's just like, I really just have grown to enjoy wearing no makeup at all. It's more like a once a week thing that I put on makeup and it's normally for a reason. I would rather have perfect skin and never wear makeup than, you know, the opposite. I feel like everyone's that way or most people but yeah i just put on like pore primer just to make the base more smooth then i go ahead and use a beauty blender this one is from amazon it's literally five dollars it's i can't remember the name of it but it's just like the best one i've ever used and then i'm gonna go ahead and mix two of the becca skin love foundations one's super tan i used it in the summer and then the other is too pale because i have fake tan on so i use both and then i just kind of like mix them oh my god I told you guys, I am not a beauty guru. I don't really know what's going on. I love this foundation. I feel like it's like one of the best ones because it's not too thick, but it also just like perfectly covers your skin. And some days I really will use just concealer and just cover up like what needs to be covered. But if I like want my makeup to look like really good for like a photo or if I'm going somewhere and I want it like 
flawless and smooth this is the way to go oh my god i don't know what's happening on my chin i don't know if it's like a rash from something i've been using or like masks or if i'm just dry or what but i have like this red patch and it won't heal i always get dms asking if i'll do like an apartment tour anytime i like show something like in my apartment and i really want to but i've lived here for like five months and i still am not done decorating i ordered a new couch that's supposed to be like the cloud couch from restoration hardware and i'm very excited for it to come because the couch i have now is built for a dollhouse and it looks like it's from toys r us and it's so not comfortable and i just hate it but i finally like invested a pretty fucking penny in a new couch so once that's done nice flawless base i either use the tarte shape tape or the kylie jenner or kylie Co kylie cosmetics concealer you can see how different the shades see i don't like do not know my shade in anything i just go with it but i really like this one because it's super creamy but then this one is more like coverage and dries really nicely so i think i'm gonna use this one i miss the summer more than i can say i want to go somewhere warm so bad here it's so dreary and cold it's literally 25 degrees outside today like that makes me want to do nothing and go nowhere and i have to go to the gym later because i skipped a few days and i hate when that happens i hate being like a slacker when it comes to the gym but sometimes one thing after another just keeps happening and i don't have any time that's so funny i'm putting on makeup to go to the gym i might honestly take it off i feel like i get nervous wearing makeup to the gym because i feel like it might make my skin even worse ow i just poked my eyes so hard see like look how much smoother it covers literally everything i kind of look like i smashed my face into like a cake because it's a little bit like but it'll get better once we add everything else and balance it all out next up i use the too faced peach powder this stuff is like i swear it's edible sometimes it like gets in my mouth <laughs> it tastes so good it smells like perfume or something like i don't know it's really really nice but i just like press my beauty blender into it and i don't always do this when i'm feeling fancy and i have some extra time i like to bake under my eyes a little bit put on my eyelids on my nose and then i always put it like where my bronzer is gonna go because that's like where it always gets like patchy if i don't because it'll stick to all the foundation so i usually sit for a second with that on i go ahead and do my eyebrows i don't do anything to my eyebrows i've always been really scared of doing stuff to my eyebrows because i don't like them to look dark like I have such light hair and I don't know I feel like my eyebrows are like pretty bare like I don't really need to fill them in normally so I'll just take like the this is the Glossier brow gel it's called boy brow or I used to take this stuff it's for like wigs it's like wig glue or whatever and I would put that on my eyebrows because it literally holds them down like super glue and it's amazing it's looking pretty good then I'm gonna go ahead and brush off the powder I just use a fluffy brush I just cleaned all my brushes if you want a quick way to clean your brushes instead of like getting so and getting them all wet and then they have to sit there and dry all night and whatever else if you're like about to do your makeup and you want them clean just get some rubbing alcohol on a paper towel swirl them on the rubbing alcohol and then swirl them on like a dry part of the paper towel get them pretty clean and like sanitized and they dry super fast my favorite part of makeup because i feel like this changes your face so much bronzer i use the benefit hula bronzer it's really good i used to use the kylie one i liked that one a lot too i feel like it wasn't dark enough and then it's already getting like patchy for me so i like this one it's just a really good like neutral one tap it off a little and very gently like i start off really gentle because i used to like go heavy and then it would just look like mud and look so bad but i just go ahead and put it right there on my cheekbone where it belongs today's the 19th i can't believe christmas is in like six days that's insane i keep thinking like i have all this time to like wrap presents and all this stuff but i literally don't i am starting to stress a little because i feel like i need to get a few more things before christmas comes and i'm like past the point of being able to order because nothing is coming in time the postal service is extremely backed up i really do want to film a video with like brandon and kenny i feel like we do this like every season where we film like a video at least it for fall and we might have done it in the summer before like doing like fun things based on like the season or like the holiday or whatever and i want to do like fun christmas things with them because i feel like it's like so fun to hang out with them and do that and it's just like a good memory to look back on so i would love to do that this week and have it up before christmas because obviously it wouldn't make much sense after christmas and then what the heck new year's is coming and it's so sad this year we're not gonna be doing anything like crazy fun next i'm gonna go in with this color pop powder blush i don't know it's just like a nice peachy natural color and i kind of like go ham on the blush because it doesn't even like show up that heavy but one thing i've learned is like blush can look kind of crazy and like clownish i guess and then once you put the rest of your makeup on it really doesn't like look that insane i like adding some nice color into my face i feel like that's what really pulls it all together and like makes you look alive then for eyes i always keep it 
very simple. I have like palettes and stuff, but I just get nervous to like experiment with other colors because I never want to mess up like the base that I started with. I don't know. I need to like one day take time to practice like eyeshadow and all that, but I just go ahead and use my bronzer and like a fluffy brush and just put that on my eyelids. I feel like it adds some dimension and makes them look a little like sultry. <laughs> definitely not the right word when i film videos like this they like make me intimidated because i don't know what to talk about when i do stuff like this i feel like i'm someone who can talk your ear off about the most random things as you can tell from this video i've talked in like a hundred circles so that's it for the eyes it's so simple i don't normally put on eyeliner if i do it's normally for like a photo or filming or going somewhere fancier i feel like it makes my eyes like my light eyes like a lot darker so i just normally do mascara the best mascara of all time is the l'oreal lash paradise i don't care what anyone says it's the best it makes your eyelashes like super dark and thick and voluminous the only thing that does suck is it dries out kind of fast so you have to get a new one like once a month maybe but it's 10 bucks at target so i feel like it's not a terrible deal sometimes you can find it on sale too i do also use a lash serum if anyone's looking to get like incredibly long eyelashes get yourself a lash serum there's so many out there and like i feel like majority of them work really well the one i use is from rodin and fields i've always had long eyelashes though this has just made them like so much longer and thicker and darker don't be shy with the mascara that's like what makes your eyelashes like look incredibly long with it is when you just like put a good amount on there like not just one swipe you gotta go in with it all right so mascara is done i do sometimes add just a little bit of highlight just like the tiniest bit because i just feel like i'm not really into it as much anymore i really like like the matte look so i just put like, the tiniest bit on my face just to add a little bit of a glow i used to hate lipstick in general like i never used to wear it but i'm obsessed i use the kkw beauty lip liner this is in nude 1.5 i got a mini nude kit like this of all of them just a bunch of different shades you can experiment figure out which one you like the best and it was like not too expensive i think i got them from ulta so i just go ahead and line them i'll line them and then fill in like the tiniest bit of the inside and then i take my finger and kind of rub it around so it looks kind of like that i blend it out a little just because i don't like it to be like too crazy and then i go ahead with the kendall by kylie cosmetics in the shade can i borrow that Oh my god, I just got it in my nose. <laughs> this is my favorite lip gloss. They smell amazing. I saw her use this on her story once and she sold me. I ordered it right away. <laughs> All right, and then that's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll spray my face too with a setting spray. I use the Morphe one just because it's like such a fine mist. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my makeup and talk to you a little bit. <laughs> Even though I have literally no idea what I talked about, I just rambled the whole time. If you guys like videos like this, let me know. <laughs> They're super fun for me to film because it's just like relaxing i don't know i get to just sit down and talk I look forward to hopefully a holiday video and then i know i'm gonna do some other fun videos with kennedy i have one planned we just need to like sit down and do it but feel free to leave any video ideas in the comments i always read the comments so leave your suggestions say hi you know i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching love you bye